As I'm Michael Seidman reporting, and our team coverage now takes you inside the Florida Keys. Sky 10 headed out first thing this morning so we could bring you a view of the devastation caused by Hurricane Irma. Our Janine Stanwood is in the video port now with a closer look. Janine. Calvin Laurie, Sky 10 captured some of the images, but with electricity out, cell phone service nearly non existent, it has been really tough getting images out of some of the hardest hit areas from the Florida Keys. In fact, we spoke to a woman who runs a resort in Little Torch Key. She says she evacuated and she still does not know how her business fared. My heart goes out to the people in the Keys. The worst of the damage to the Florida Keys is likely where Irma made landfall at Cudjo Key and near Sugarloaf, Summerland, all places with limited power and phone communication. Nearby Baby's Coffee, a local favorite, battered. Senators Bill Nelson, Marco Rubio, and a contingent of South Florida lawmakers touring the damage from a Coast Guard C-130. All the Florida Keys felt Irma's wrath. To the north, one of the first gems as you enter is Gilbert's Resort, now under a milky cover of water. South to Snappers in Key Largo, a beloved restaurant for locals, is destroyed. Storm surge on the ocean side battered its docks. In Long Key, we saw roof damage. Duck Key Marina missing parts of its roof. In Marathon, mobile homes toppled like toys. The National Guard rolling in with equipment and personnel. There's devastation. Earlier, uh, Governor Rick Scott toured Key uh, West, where people's homes are now ruined. Every uh, trailer park, they're overturned. See, I don't, I don't think I saw one trailer park that every, almost everything wasn't overturned. But the owner of a coffee shop there says Old Town Key West got banged up, but fared better than expected. That conch spirit stronger than Irma could ever be. It's a lot of debris, basically. And the fact that we don't have no power and stuff like that. But other than that, we're actually very good. Everybody's helping everybody out. And so Mariner's Hospital in Tavernier will be open at 7 a.m. tomorrow. That was likely a critical reason officials decided to open up the upper keys for residents and business owners. Calvin Laurie, so many people in the keys were so worried about this storm. They evacuated and now they're still waiting to see what their homes and businesses look like. Oh, it's gotta be so frustrating. And yet they, they made that point. The hospital has to be open yes. in case people get down there and they get injured, they get hurt trying to repair things. They have to get the hospital open first. And that's why they staggered it. So that's why they're only allowing Upper Keys residents to mm -hmm. get in first so that Mariner's Hospital can be there. They wouldn't let people in if they didn't have any sort of first response. So it's they're slowly opening it. And as the governor mentioned, the bridges it appears that they're all fine structurally, but there's still an issue though. You gotta be careful when you're driving around because there's a lot of debris, possible live wires down. That's right. Always a concern. After and and Janine, we've talked to other reporters about the resilience of South Florida since we have a history of dealing yes. with hurricanes, but there's a special kind of spirit in the Keys. Always a special spirit in the Keys. And I have neighbors right now who are in North Carolina. They're in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. They took everything they could. They live in mobile homes. They they were fearful that their homes weren't going to be there, but they did what they could. They tied it up, and it looks like, at least in Key Largo, I think those are some in images right now, actually, of the neighborhood in Key Largo. It, it looks like there was some flooding, but surprisingly, those mobile homes are still there, and yeah. so we have to kind of wait and see what the damage is. But Key's residents, as that woman who owned the business in yeah, Key West said, mm -hmm. Maribel said, hopefully they're going to be up and running as soon yeah. as they can. Right. She'll have coffee for everybody. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Coffee to go back. <laughs> All yeah, right. Bring it on. All right, Janine, thanks a lot. Thank you.